gamers, it's Kristen, and I am back for another video. I have my Beautylish Lucky Bag to share with you. Uh, I totally recorded this one time already. Didn't hit the record button. Rookie mistake. Uh, <laughs> full disclosure, by the way, filming this on the same day, shooting this, I should say, on the same day as all the other videos you've seen recently, uh, I just uh, put my hair up, changed my shirt, put a different lip on. <laughs> And actually, the benefit of me having messed this up is that the lip that I have on now is actually lip products that I got in my Lucky Bag, so you can see them in action. So, let's just start back at the beginning from where I started already. Uh, the first <laughs> product that I have to... Oh, side note, I explained this before, so now I have to get myself back into the groove here. Uh, the Beautylish Lucky Bag, in case you are not familiar with it, is something that goes on sale every year through Beautylish on December 26th. And um, it is a little uh, Christmas present to myself, Bob, and I typically don't do Christmas presents, so it's just kind of something that I always get. You, there's either a $75 or a $150 bag. The $75 bag um, comes with at least $150 worth of product in it, and the $150 bag comes with at least $300 worth of product in it. The one is the regular, the other is the XL. This year I was able to get the XL. Sometimes it sells out before I can get there. Um, you don't know what's going to be in it, so you just have to know going in. It's kind of a fun little surprise. If you if you think you're going to be disappointed by not being able to pick your own products, probably not the best thing for you to purchase. But if you like a little surprise, like I do, um, then it's fun. I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing what I'm going to get. And it has opened my eyes over the years to some new products that I, I'm still am using. So... Having said that, let me just go ahead and jump in. Um, so I have had this obviously since January. I opened it, pretty much forgot what was in all of this and just set it to the side so that I could shoot the video and show you guys. I'm just a little bit late, but I figure better late than never. So this first product is by Holla Frog, and it's the AHA, BHA Evening Serum for Resurfacing and Reveal. Re <laughs> resurfacing and Reveal. So this is what box looks like. Now, last year, I think it was, I got the Holla Frog. It was like a milky cleansing balm or milky cleanser, not a balm. I loved that and it's on my list to repurchase once I have used up the rest of my kind of morning cleansers that I have. Um, it's just as it was a really nice, gentle, did a cleanse, but I also felt like it gave something to my face. Really liked it. Will repurchase it, just haven't yet. Um, but anyway, th so this again is the Halo um, evening serum and it's just a cute little bottle and I feel like if I remember right this is a um, don't mind me while I pick up the box I just dropped a mid-range skincare I don't think it's a uh, super expensive but not drugstore price kind of a nice um, in between the next product is the good molecules I feel badly that you're not going to get to see like my first reaction to things because when I took this out of the package I was like oh Oh, look at that. So anyway, this is the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. It says a gentle cleanser to balance and brighten skin. Again, probably one I would use in the morning versus in the evening because I like more of a cleansing balm in the evening. But it's in a glass bottle and it really is like a gel. It looks to me like, you know, like a hair gel. There's some. Anyway, so we'll see. Um, massage onto the face, create a light lather, rinse well. So we'll see. Sometimes things like this will dry my skin out. You know, I it's I don't like to use a cleanser that when I get done, my skin is screaming to get the moisture on it. That I, that tells me that that cleanser is not good for my skin type and has stripped my skin of things that it that it likes and wants. I don't want to have like a squeaky clean, screaming for moisture face. I need it to be cleansed, but also not feel like it's been stripped. So. We'll see about that one. Okay, next is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. And it's from Wayne Goss, his lip liner and lipstick. Now, the only thing I've tried from Wayne's line at all is his very first palette. And I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was, er was earth shattering. I know he's come out with a bunch of things since then. I just haven't purchased any of them yet. So first is the lip liner in vintage pink. Um, it's not the smoothest liner to put on. I've had softer, creamier, but it does, it goes on okay. It's kind of middle of the road there. And then the lipstick is in Dahlia. And it kind of has a MAC-esque smell to it, I would say. Very creamy. This is a, I would call it a satin finish. And that is, like I said, what I'm wearing today. I have a, 
I have uh, Rockateur by Benefit on blush wise, so it's not, I wouldn't typically pair this blush with this lip, but for the sake of the video and you guys being able to see, I did. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> I had one of these pulled out and prepared before the first time I shot this video. Well, the only reason that I knew, by the way, that it didn't record, thankfully, is that my video camera just shut off. And I was like, what is happening? Speaking of, I just adjusted. I felt like it was maybe tilted. Anyway. Uh, so, it, yeah, it just shut off. And I was like, dude, what is going on? <laughs> well, I didn't hit the record button. And so it just shut off. It's okay. Uh, okay. So this is by Viseart. And it's one of the... I, don't, I assume this is a line. I don't know. I need to do a little research. need to catch up on my YouTube game here. But this is the Petite Fours uh, Garnet quad and it is beautiful absolutely stunning this is a quad by the way in case you didn't know this did you know that these maybe everybody knows this but it took me a while to figure out what the other ones that these actually come out and could go into a palette anyway so this is a quad where I would need something else to go with it there's not a there's not a transition shade for me there's not a deeper shade but it is beautiful so those are the four shades and they all swatch very nicely. Again, this one is really my skin tone, so you're not going to see that very well. But it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I, I feel like I have used that a couple of times. Uh, maybe when I was doing Instagram Live or something like that. Um, but I need to play around with it a little bit more. This screams more fall to me, really, than it does spring, summer. Aside from maybe this you know, kind of by itself, blend out. I know, there is definitely a way to make this summer, but I don't know. The colors in there for me just seem a little more fall-esque, fall-winter-esque. Um, so this is a product I won't actually use, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's by Hidden Dash. I don't know. Hero Line. So it's a liquid eyeliner. I just don't typically use a liquid eyeliner. Um, I have been using and loving. I should here. Let me, I'm going to just randomly stick this in here and show you guys. Uh, I should have put it in a haul video, but anyway, the packaging on this is beautiful. It's it's kind of a retro feel, I would say, um, and that is what the, I'm not going to swatch it because I'm going to end up giving this to somebody probably that enjoys a liquid liner, but so I'm, as with anything, I always want to know if you guys have experience with something good, bad, or otherwise, please let me know. I would love to hear. I'm just going to stick in here, by the way. This is a red aspen thing. Um... I'll, which I, I'll put my link below if you want, but this is Lucy, Lucy's Lash Pen. This is a black felt tip liner, but with glue in it, in your lashes. You know, you can put false lashes on and it sticks right to it. It's genius. That's just a random aside. Totally works too. Um, okay, lastly, the most expensive item in my lucky bag is the Natasha Denona um, Tri Chrome Palette. And I've just, I've not used this. This is what it looks like. This is not something that for some, when I open it, it doesn't inspire me. And it's, I, I'm a neutral girl. That's, you know, this is no, no new information. If you're new here, first of all, welcome. Second of all, I like a neutral. <laughs> I always have, I always will. I do like to play around with color every once in a while, but anyway, so I really need to kind of force myself to dig into this. Um, or I need to give it to somebody that will use it because it is beautiful. It's just, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's what it looks like. Let me give you some swatches. We'll just kind of go left to right here. Um, this is Scrap, Androdite, Scarab, and Ion. This is a, look at, can you see that shift? It's very pretty. Not sure I'm gonna get all of these on one hand. So those are the first four. I'm gonna keep my wipe here. All right, this is Vert, Nanga, Manganese, and Kinetic. Versus Static. I'm trying to give you the, if you can see the iridescentiness of that. This is a uh, Redox, Tungsten, Vertex, and Plutonium. And I'm running out of space on this hand. 
Ooh, that one is really pretty. That tung tungsten. That's this one. That's really pretty. I like till that swatch. You know, sometimes when you swatch some swatch something right away, you're like, ooh. <laughs> that's what happened. All right. Hmm. Color flip. Garmon and Diatonic. Those are the last three. This one swatches so differently than it looks in the pan. It definitely is a dual chrome. I'll put those right here. Yeah, that's crazy. And that Garmon, that's a shade I like too right there. So there you go. You guys know I don't, I don't feel like it's worth showing you a palette if I don't at least give you some swatches. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing with that palette, uh, if anything, or if I pass it along to a younger friend <laughs> that might enjoy it. So that was my lucky bag this year. Um, I'm curious what you guys thought. I always, I, I hesitate to say, I don't like when people sort of complain about the lucky bag because you knew, you kind of know going in that you're not gonna know what you get. And as long as you get the value that they promised, if you don't like it, it's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, you just kind of have to, like I said, you, it's a gamble. It's like playing a slot machine. You got to know what you're, at least, but at least you know you're going to get something for your money, where you don't necessarily know that with a slot. I don't know how I just compared a lucky bag to a slot machine, but I, I did. So anyway, uh, again, this is the same face I have been wearing in all of my videos, so it'll be listed below if you are curious. Uh... And I think that that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.